that sort of stuff for him. Well, I suppose in a way it'll be the same, only I won't be talking, like, constantly. So, you know, like, just give me throat a little bit of a rest, um, so that basically I can go on longer. Because what I want to do is, I want to try and do this in as few settings as possible. And obviously, um, all being well, I should get a new PlayStation 3 in, well, what time is it now? It's half past 11. So that's also why I'm a little quiet, by the way. You know, because like, obviously the time, I don't want to wake the family up. But, um, yeah, like, we've been half past 11. All being well, I should have a new PS3 in about 12 hours or so. Now, if I was just, like, doing a pure rush through the game, doing absolutely no extras, reading none of the um, dialogue, then in that 12 hours, I would more than likely be at the end of the game. So there is that, but at the same time, I don't want to rush through it like that because when you rush through a game like that, it just it feels boring, you know. It's like yeah, okay, there are people who enjoy doing speed runs, but at the same time, I'm not one of those people. Like um, if you see and well, whenever you see an RPG video on my channel, it's nine times out of ten going to be a grinding spot or something like that because that is one thing that i do um you know i i don't like play through the game at the recommended level if you will i uh i grind i grind heavily really heavily you know like if i find a good spot i will overpower myself i mean there's a spot on here on disc one the I will probably more than likely abuse to get me, uh, well, pretty much um, end game level. I mean, obviously, I won't record all that, you know, I'll record the setup for it and how to do it, and then I'll start the recording, then, well, I'll edit it so that like, it picks up when I finish grinding. You know, because obviously this is, this is going to be no walkthrough, you know. It's, I mean, I suppose some people can use it as a slight walkthrough, you know, to find something that they didn't know about. But, um, well, other than that, you know, it's going to be what he says, you know. Like, it's just going to be my personal playthrough. I mean, I by no means do everything perfectly. And, you know, and, well, if I'm not recording and... I had a lot of free time, then yeah, I'd probably do a pure perfection run, doing all the side quests, grabbing every item, that sort of thing. But because I'm recording, I, I don't want to bore you guys with like 300 parts of like FF9 and then like 300 parts of FF7, you know, a couple hundred parts of FF8. Because I mean, that's almost a thousand videos right there, and that's just on three different games, you know, and. I don't want to do that. I mean, obviously, like, these FF videos are really going to knock up my um, video count. But at the same time, um, it's not going to be anywhere near as much as, um, like, some FF, uh, FF walkthrough uh, channel. Because, I mean, I know um, well, the, when FF 13.2, like, before that was actually released, a couple of people got the Japanese version. And they pretty much recorded from start of the game to platinum. And they were doing it in 20, 30 minute parts. And they had over 100 videos on that. And 13.2 is a really short game. I mean, it's only a 60 hour plat. I mean, when I platted it for a friend of mine. Well, when I platted it for James. Um, because I platted it for myself. And then a short while later, I platted it for him as well. And... I think how long it took me to plot for James was probably around um, uh, you know I think it was between 40 and 60 hours I think my plot was about 70 hours you know and like, that's really short for an RPG. If you ask me, an RPG should at least have, an, well, 100 hours plus gameplay, you know? Obviously not 100 hours story, because a lot of people would give up on that. Like, I'd say maybe 40 to 60 hours for a story is a good amount for an RPG, you know? Whereas then you throw in all these side quests and extras and that. That should, like, there should be tons of that on an RPG 
because you know what uh, obviously well right this the end game boss of any rpg well any rpg with a battle system like this you know turn based battle or something like that or where you have levels and that like levels um, that sort of thing then you know like the end boss is it's gonna be rather mediocre you know what i mean I know the end boss of FF9 is a little tough if you don't like if you don't know what you're doing and even if you do know what you're doing he can pretty much screw you over you know I mean there's the optional boss on here that um, personally to tell you the truth I've never beat I mean fair enough I've only like um, I've only got to the area to fight him once uh, well sorry not once on one save and I tried, um, I'm, I'm going to say 10 to 15 times, you know, like, obviously between each time I got a little stronger, I changed my equipment around, I still couldn't beat him, so there is that, but the end boss on here is, um, it can be a little tough, you don't know what you're doing, but other than that, it's, it's not too bad, like, you know, but, um, but yeah, typically in RPGs, like the end boss is sort of like a mediocre kind of thing. I mean, basically in RPGs, you can get equipment, you can get levels, you can get stats. That once you get them, you know, like it basically goes from mediocre to like, oh, you know what? I'll just like I'll just leave the game on f all night you'll come back and you know you still won't be dead you know like that's the thing I mean you can in RPGs you can always power up so strong that bosses they can't touch you you know like that will always be a case in RPGs that's why you need that um well that f that, oh, yeah that extra content I mean to me anyway you know like you need that extra content for well I suppose for um, like people who enjoy the game and like want to play the game more but at the same time like if you enjoy the game but the game doesn't have like many extra features once you complete that game you know like you're pretty much going to be forced to replay the game if you get what I mean and a lot of the times with an RPG, um, the replay value is not so good. Because obviously you know the story, you know, like you know what's going to happen. You know that that guy you've been traveling with since the start of the game is a bad guy. You know, like that's, well, that that doesn't happen in FF9, but that's a, um, a typical RPG subplot. You know, like you meet the bad guy early on or... You know, like, one of your teammates suddenly betray you, you know, something like that. That's a typical thing in RPGs nowadays. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going to do for a little while. And, you know, I'm going to do a few battles, level up, because this is the first part in the game that, you know, like, you can actually earn XP and uh, money from. Money is not so much an issue in it, because, like, I did that to um, impress 100 nobles on the Queen earlier on. So, obviously, you know, I've got 10k from that. So, I don't really need money at this point. What I do, however, need is XP to level up. And I also want to master the skills. That's one thing I like doing. As soon as I can get a new skill, I master it right there and then. Like, see, EXP 23, AP 1. So, obviously, I leveled up. Because that's what the EXP does for me. Um, the AP, though, is for learning skills, so I'll quickly show you guys what I mean with that now, just in case, you know, you haven't played the game. Um, well, I suppose we'll do something quick, better. Right. If you see here, you've got, in the bottom right, detect and flee. That's on 1 out of 40. The AP that we got goes to that. And then we have flee gill, 1 out of 45, 1 out of 55 for protect girls, and beast killer, 1 out of 30. These are abilities that, um, until you master, you have to have the equipment on to use them. Like, you have to have those abilities on the equipment to use them. Whereas, once you master them, basically, for the Mage Master, once I get 40 AP, so at this part of the game I'm in right now, it's 40 battles. So, once I get those 40 battles done, then I can remove that equipment. Uh, I can remove the equipment and still keep those abilities on. 
So that's uh, pretty much what I'm going to do. And basically what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use this time to, you know, like sort of give my throat a bit of a rest because I've been going for an hour and 20 minutes. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this here now. And basically when the video resumes, it will probably be an hour or so later. I'll be probably around level eight or something like that with all these abilities mastered. As soon as I master these abilities, then I'll start again and the video will just carry over from there. But yeah guys, um, I hope you enjoyed up to this point and uh, I'll see you soon.